All right, welcome back. <clears throat> We're going to do our best here to um, try to get to Pearl Barley this episode. Um, let's see. Let's just do a full cast out here. So that was 29, about 30 meter clip. And that, you know, that honestly doesn't look right to me. I think we might have overcast the hole. You know, it's hard to tell because I don't have that stinking map for Mosquito yet. We got to go get that. All right, and then on this, we want to go small again. Um, yeah, any of this stuff will do. And let's just do like a 20 meter clip, I guess. You know, I might not have been casting. trying to show you a different spot here but honestly I need to I need to get the map I'm so many spots at this point that I'm starting to question whether I'm even looking at this spot right all right let's get our third feeder out I think it's like down this way now that I think about it. I think we just like cast into nothing with this one. But we'll leave it till we get back. But yeah, that's not that's definitely not the right cast. Alright, so I, I bought some potatoes from winding. Look at that, three wet red worms. What a good dig. And um, got a ton of bread. Of course, we'll make the bread first. So we're just going to rotate through bread, see if we just can't grab a couple spots. Because the potatoes are expensive. Uh, you burn through them so fast making potatoes. And um, so we want to primarily get our points from digging and from digging and from the bread, but we'll get that final push. Hopefully we'll get the final push with the potatoes. We'll see how close we get. And then we, like I said, I'm really hoping we can get pearl barley and then we can start rocking away with pearl barley. Probably in a lot of these spots, they'll often be worth having pearl barley on at least one, one reel. All right, let's see what we're catching here at 20 meters. Is that a perch? All right, let's let's get this up to 25 meters. And now that I have the map, yeah, that's what we want. We're trying to get in that five meter hole, basically. And I think 20, 25 meters definitely gets us there from here. And we've just got worm and just a pretty standard ground bait mix on that's really what we want there's a there's a white bream order right right now but what i'm also testing is like we don't want to catch regular bream on these sorrentos okay notice how much bigger this middle sorrento is than the tiny one um we just don't even want to but we could catch bream on our comma our comma comfort it you know if it's a big bream it'll be a it'll be a struggle but it's it's worth it so let's go 25 meter clip on this as well let's make sure we're aiming into the hole and uh i don't i don't think we need to overcast on this to go 25 meters oh we might okay we'll overcast next time let's see if bream are biting anything we don't have pearl barley unlocked so other baits we want to try are things like maggots worms blood worms if you have pearl barley, garlic dough, those are usually best. Hey, it's a sleeper. That's what I'm talking about. We found the sleepers. Um, a lot of times pea porridge works really well for bream. 
But again, these are all baits that we don't have yet. That's what we're trying to work on is leveling up our bait harvesting so we can target specific fish with the hot baits. Twenty-five meter clip is a lot longer to reel in a rough uh, than that spot across the lake we have, but it is possible we'll occasionally catch a bream or something over here as well. I've got a really big hook on this first rod, considering we're using maggots. I'd say normally, I think I've got an eight on. I'd say maggots. We probably should have like a twelve on there. Just kind of trying it to see what's to see what's up, you know. That's another perch, right? But so far we've got nothing on there. Let's give it a little more time. And then uh, the first thing I might try is like changing the um, changing the hook size before we give up on maggots entirely. And then we'll try other things. So we're at 16.5. You know, we may get there just on the bread alone if it keeps giving us points that easily. bread and digging what we don't want to do is just stand here and catch micro perch but as, as it hits nighttime that should change All right, we're finally getting a fish on that first rod. So let's see if it was worth waiting for. Because we caught two fish on each of the other rods before we got a bite on it. Is the fish even on there? I guess I don't know for sure yet. We're still getting points for bread. It's tremendous. Wow. Let's try one more and then we'll take a quick bread break. Take a break from bread. Nope. All right, two times in a row not getting points. All right, I, I'm just gonna try it because if it's not a fish, I'm changing it anyway. All right, is that a bream? Okay, it is. Um, so let's try it again. We're just now getting into, in fact, we're not even quite to good bream time. So if maggots are gonna work, then that's great. Let's try it. We're avoiding bream on these two lines though because of the, how small the rigs are. hoping we would just catch white bream with these tiny hooks on but might not white bream and rough are what we want to catch through the night on these on these bad boys there is not another rough order but I'm hoping that one might pop while we're fishing here so it does not hurt to pre-catch a few rough in case that does happen Seventeen percent. There you go, seventeen point two, seventeen point three, five. 
Okay, take a break. We had an unlucky. We had an unlucky, uh, an unlucky piece of bread. Let's take a little break. That is a nice rough. Thank you. Thank you for that nice rough. So the bream are here. Seems like maggots aren't doing too well. Pretty slow bite on maggots. It also doesn't help that we don't have leaders. Let's be honest, anytime you're bream fishing, if you're not using fluorocarbon leaders, you're probably not getting the same bite rate that everybody else is. dig give it a um, give it another uh, ooh, 17.8 give it another bread chance Come on, bread. You can do better than that. No, really, you can do better than that, bread. Eighteen percent. Okay. Um, let's don't overreact here on the on the on the uh, maggots just yet. Let's do try a 12 hook. I mean, maggots is a small bait. And some people even fish for bream with 10 or 12 hook. I would personally think eight is better, but it's not unheard of. So with a smaller bait than I normally use, like usually we're using garlic dough, pearl barley, red worms, pea porridge, uh, cottage cheese dough, 
So to fish for them with maggots might make sense to have a little smaller hook anyway. And we just caught a marker bream on a size like 19 or 20 tiny hook. And worms. I mean, we could always just use worms on all three, but I think, I don't know. I don't think worms are ideal for catching the larger bream, spe bream species, but we'll see. This is just exploration here. We're trying to get, get some information. You may have noticed we're at 56, 48. We're casting in this five meter hole. I think especially when you have pearl barley and then garlic dough unlocked. You um, probably can do even better on bream here if you use fluorocarbon leaders as well. So the dream here is can we get up to 19% before we start breaking into the potatoes? I'm not sure that we can with just bread. Uh, and I mean, digging we can, but it'll just take a long time. We need some lucky bread, 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 uh, bread levels up too if we're going to really get it done. We really just need to dig as many times as we can this episode. It's a white, right? So there's a variety of things here <clears throat> in this five meter hole that we're catching. So far what we're not catching is bream. Uh, consistently at least. It's a little, another little rough. All right, let's check the maggots. I mean, it's just too slow, right? That's a long time for those to be in. Okay. Let's try something else. I know this is weird, but I think I want to try blood worms. I've never done that, but... I've heard people say they've used blood worms on Bream before. A longer clip so it's kind of annoying but this spot seems just as good for rough as where we've been fishing across on the other side all right so we're getting a little bite on bloodworm maybe i think that's another tiny rough bread wow we're that good huh bread is just about dried up at this point hasn't it We should go check the cafe uh, 
just to see where we are on that white green mortar. Oh crap. I hate doing that. It's one of the things that actually drives me bananas. So nothing so far on Bloodworm. Once again, we probably have too big a hook for Bloodworm, but 12 might have a little too much size on it. Yeah, we just need two more white bream. That's 30 silver. That is disgusting how good that is. Absolutely disgusting. One thing I may do um, spinning all of our silver. I may do a little traveling at the end of this episode to see if if there's any other fluorocarbon leaders available at, um, I mean, I guess for now we'll just look at winding. When we do hit 12, I think Old Berg had a little bit more variety last time I was there. All right, after we get these lines in, we're changing Bloodworm again. So what are we short, one? One white bream now? Point six. Well, we've almost made it to 19 just from digging. Oh, is that why we're not catching anything? Didn't somebody say something about this recently? Instead of re-logging, just move locations quietly, slightly faster than. So somebody was saying instead of re-logging, just like travel somewhere else and travel back, I guess. You think that's faster than just reloading into the same place? I don't know that it is. But that's not cool. That is not cool. All right, I'll be right back. While we're loading in, I'm gonna take a quick bio break.
Wow. It's a weird place for that to get snagged at, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen a snag from this side uh, in that location, but... Okay. Looks weird again, doesn't it? All right, we're, we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, very strange. Okay, I just need one white green. Yes, it is windy at Mosquito, Igor. You are correct on that. <clears throat> so our bream test here was an utter failure, wasn't it? Although, that snag did not help things. I don't think we're going to get any more points on bread. I just really don't. Come on, just a tiny little white bream. I don't want to have to move to the other side just to try to get a white bream. That is... That is not it. Oh goodness, are we actually getting a bite on Bloodworm? Okay, still giving us points pretty much every time. So far, so good. There 
There we go. Thank you, Brad. Nice. 19.2. I can just feel the pearl barley coming. It's getting so close. Yeah, it's absolutely not working. All right, let's try... Um, Let's just put let's just put worm in here but on a big hook oh man the wind is killing me Trying to see how long it's been since I drank tea. It's been a while. That is what we're going to catch on worms here, most likely, with a bigger hook. I mean, even with a small hook, but especially with a bigger hook. The white bream have just disappeared on me. It's like the game knows I'm just one short. This could be it. Thank goodness. All right. Let's hope it's still up. We have caught a bunch of small fish so far, haven't we? But it's worth it to get this 30 silver cafe order done on uh, tiny whites. Dang, that's nice. Okay, has anything new popped? Oh, we've got bleak again, but it's not really worth anything. It's not worth the, I mean, unless we just happen to be fishing over there. But um, we are so close. Yeah, we're about to hit it, aren't we? Don't you make pearl barley with just pearl barley? Or am I wrong? I think so. All right, probably another perch here. Now we're catching them. Oh.
Okay, it was just a really small bream. All right, we want to go with... Let's go check on a spot back here while we're finishing off our push for pearl barley. We can make five more pieces of bread if we even want to. I'm not sure that we even make any more bread. I think we've breaded out our points. But we're gonna make potatoes. All right, this spot I really like about a nine meter clip. And kind of over here on this right side. <clears throat> Although sometimes I'll cast right in the middle as well. What you really want for this spot, to be honest, is uh, semolina, especially overnight. So definitely a trophy gibble spot. Um, all right, let's make some potatoes. I mean, we're at 19.7. We're going to get there off digging whether potatoes come through us or not. All right, so we should be able to make, is it 20 things of potatoes? time pushing across the finish line aren't we goodness although I thought potatoes would be kind of like bread, like hard to get points at the very end here. There we go, 19.9 and 20. Very good. We'll finish making the potatoes, although we could cook some of them. So we've got 10 pieces left. How much do we have in our inventory now in terms of potato pieces? 270? Yeah, let's cook those other potatoes, I think. All right, this is on worms. Whoa, I, I don't... I think they should, whatever they did to change the program <laughs> to make fish be on your line, as in the game is telling you, hey, there's a fish on, but then it's like a false positive. Like, they should change that. Like, it's not, it didn't used to be that way. The more I think about that, the more I'm like, I, I don't understand why they, I mean, that may not have been an intended change when they changed the way that feeder bites work. But if it wasn't intended, then they need to th figure out how to fix it, to me.
So now we're po past 20%. We're not going to always get points off shoveling, but we still will a lot. Barley is another one of those baits that I kind of feel like you can't make enough of. Like, it's just so good. That's a nice gibble. We're going to try Pearl Barley on this one now, though. And we're going to adjust this one as, as well. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to put that new leader on there. So we've got a fluorocarbon leader. It's 3.2. Should be good. It's our first time using a fluorocarbon leader on this account. what I like to see. The long lost Chinese sleeper. So ideally at this point, we kind of want to just make pearl barley and dig until getting to about 24%, maybe thereabouts, and then make a bunch of oatmeal to try to get across the finish line. Sweet dough will be nice. Wheat grains are okay at times, but the big winner is, is semolina, is sort of the next thing we're pushing for. But having pearl barley now gives us another really good viable bait. I'm not sure about it at this spot. I mean, I've got it in on that middle rod. Um, just wanted to, to get it in there and see what see what it might attract here. But it's not necessarily the best at like crucian gibbles. Uh, or even, well, sometimes it's really good on roach actually in some spots. But what it is really good at, look at this fish. What it is really good at is uh, bream and bream species. A lot of times it's really OP. It's too bad this is not a sleeper. For a second I thought it was going to be. to train myself to think now this first line has a 3.2 fluorocarbon leader on it so I can't just go jerking it around like we have been here it's at it the strength of this of this rig now is if it's a really weak rig but we're doing that because that really thin fluorocarbon leader is like invisible to the fish so sometimes that'll help get bigger fish on there all right first fish on pearl barley is a roach which is kind of what we'd expect to catch down here. 
Let's go back to bread, I think. For now. I don't think this spot has the same bite rate as that place over there. To me, that place over there on like bread and worms and stuff is about as good a bite rate as you can get right now. But I still think this spot might have a higher chance of trophies. And that'll definitely go up once we get our leaders set up and our uh, and get up to Semolina. Seems like sleepers are moving back in. So we're already up to twenty one point seven. We're just going to keep pushing Aggress aggressive on that bait, bait harvesting. Hope this is a good fish. catching a really nice rate of markers down here, right? Nice little fish. Yeah. There we go. Getting a little spike here in our bite rate, right? One out of four piece of loaf will make bread. You know, there's probably like a 0.1% chance we'll still get a point on bread, but 
It happens every once in a while. Even when you wouldn't think you still would. We're getting perched on our uh, on our worms right now. like our bite rate over here on the left side right in front of the weeds has kind of picked up a little bit so I'm moving both of the first two rods over right in front of the weeds all right let's see here Viku says bro you have two Russian fishing four accounts oh I've got way more than two Fareed says, I just brought a Proton Pro 6000 and rod is comma, load capacity is seven. Is that bad? Yes, that's, that is not good. Load capacity is seven kilo on the rod and you've got a Proton Pro. I don't think that's the setup we're looking for. You want your rod to be, like let's say your reel is seven kilos. I would say a minimum rod strength should be 10 and it's much better if it's 12. So it doesn't have to be double, but it should be like, more than just a little bit, if that makes sense, in my opinion. Because even if you overload a reel, put a little extra strength on the line than you normally would, you still shouldn't be getting anywhere close to your rod strength.
a nice fatty crucian, wasn't it? 826. I'm just so glad to see these sleepers showing up. That makes me hope that when we get our hand on some night crawlers, if these sleepers are still doing this, we might actually see the return of the trophy sleeper. Good news. Oh, look at somebody catching Chinese sleepers on spinners. Good job to you, Renard and Vlavicic. All right, look at this. Let's try this. Red worm. about let's level up on Chinese sleepers why do I like Chinese sleepers so much I have no idea I think they're cool looking fish they're not great XP they're not great silver I mean they're okay So the uh, red worms are working here. I mean, we haven't caught Chinese sleeper yet, but. Tell you what though, daggum worms are catching Chinese sleepers. Chinese sleepers have showed up with a vengeance. I mean, they weren't here three days ago.
Well, I say that. I don't think they were here. Maybe it's just I was so focused on using Semolina, but we were using Nightcrawlers too. I mean, they would have they would have been going off on those Nightcrawlers. All right, here goes Red Worm again. Whoa, I gotta remember this is 3.2. You can't be shift reeling till you have a sense of what's on the line. Catching some nice fish here right now. So, bites everywhere. What was I about to say? I know what I was about to say. About to talk about skill points. I just I don't think I ever tighten this up. That's not a fish on. Okay, with skill points, um, it's always tempting to put points in this to increase our chances with trophies, right? I mean, just think about how long it's going to take us to get to 50%. What are we at, 21% now? It'll be a while. It'll be a minute. I mean, we could always put points here, but this actually gives us a chance of catching a trophy, which is just fun, right? And we still have the free reset point, so once we unlock inline rig, we can take it out of this, put it in line. I don't know. Might have to think about that one. You know what we haven't caught in a minute is a sleeper. We need to watch bread, make sure it doesn't slow down too much at night.
We're already at an hour. I'll go a little bit into the evening here. Um, we'll try to fish this spot like for a full 24 hours, maybe maybe next episode or sometime soon. When this episode, when this spot's going off like this, it's it's a fun place to fish. It'll be a lot more fun when we have semolina. If if the gibbles are still biting on semolina like they have been. Yeah, look at all the semolina. Although, yeah, there was one today and one on night crawlers today. That's a good sign. Semolina, garlic dough, bread, semolina, worms. if that's still the case but that's what we used to always hear is that if you switch if you switch what types of fishing you're doing in other words if you're doing float fishing and then you unlock bolo fishing like if you sometimes have it on a bolo rod that will increase the chance that you'll get that skill point uh, with bottom fishing like if you got one on basic bottom but you got another one on inline again I'm not sure if any of that works if catching different types of fish fishing at different lakes using different types of rigs. I don't know how much of that actually matters, but that's what we used to hear. Is that a tinch? I think that's a little tinch. No, it's a crucian. It's a nice crucian too, 1.3. It was just on the verge of um, giving this little rig a, uh, a little bit of a problem. Alright, this is bread. This should be still pretty good, but let's just want to keep an eye on it, make sure the bite rate doesn't die off. It's a nice fat gibble. Kind of like what we would see if we had semolina. Really big gibbles coming in on the bread and the semolina. And nightcrawler some as well. When the sleepers get really healthy in this spot, you'll catch them off and on all night long. I don't know that we're at that spot yet. What is this? It's a 
Gibble. Oh, uh, we, we also didn't have any energy, I guess. We're at 82 fish right now. Holy cow. And we had that ridiculous white bream order. Although we are already spent most of that money. So it's slowing down a little bit, isn't it? Okay, there goes red worm, hopefully. Make about 20 more bags of uh, pearl barley and then a few bags of oatmeal and then we should be able to start making the next stuff some sweet dough all right there goes red uh, sorry bread Oh, that was a white bream. Did you see that? That was a white bream on bread. What the heck? This third rig on worms is catching some really nice fish. What is this, size 12 hook? I think 12 is the right size down here. Now, if you're fishing with night crawlers... Maybe the right size is a little bigger than that. I think this eight might be a little big. And this is 14, it could probably stand to be 12. I don't know, bread, I don't know. That's a nice fish on red worm. It's a really nice fish. Look at that, boys. Oh, I don't have a net yet. How embarrassing. Let's just throw this trophy. Let's just throw this trophy around, huh? How about that crucian? Trophy crucian. That's what we're buying immediately when we get back up to the thing here in a second is um, a net. Redworm might be the thing down here, but man, I'm going to have to dig, 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 or spend a lot of silver to get redworms.
So we are almost up to Paternoster. I really like bread down here. And of course it was fun getting that trophy on the red worm. There's another sleeper. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this again sometime. Cause maybe the sleepers are gonna start picking up now. It's like 1.45 in the morning. This might be when trophy sleeper could come in on red worm, who knows. Ninety fish in our net. That is some fun sink fun fishing. Um Okay. Easy gibble order for three and a half silver. Easy crucian order for 10 silver. We almost had the perch order for 13, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And there's that eyed order. I was just talking to Fab about eyed. All right, let's see how we did. That Crucian's 10 silver. Normally you're gonna at least get 10 silver for a trophy, Crucian or Gibble. And if they're a really nice size, it'll be more than that. Look at this nice white bream out of nowhere on bread down there, coming in second. I don't know about that, um, why that happened. And then of course the rough, just really good money on rough when you get bigger ones. All right, 88 silver, nice. <laughs> I mean, if you can do that, um, if you can do that a day, you know, every 24 hours, that is a nice way to get going. Yeah, we might try that idea that uh, that Fab had. All right, so what do we need to get for next time? 
Oh, we need to get a net, and then we can. Um, Only 104 silver for 300 red worms. Is that tempting? Yes. Am I going to do it? I don't think so. All right. We're getting a landing net for sure, though. Okay. I think we'll probably be back at Mosquito next time. Um, but thanks for watching, and I will see you a little later on.